In this art haul, we have brands like Stabilo, Schminka, Daniel Smith, Holbein, Paul Rubens, Etcher, and some more. It finally came in. All right. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa, and I make videos on anything art related, a little bit of this and that. If that speaks to you, consider subscribing. In today's video, I am going to be showing you a haul over the month of December. This haul contains a few drawing supplies and lots of paints and at the end I have a little bonus haul. One other thing I wanted to mention before we get started is that I'm going to break up my December haul into two parts. This will be part one and then I will post part two at the end of the month. Up first we have a pack of pins by Stabilo. These were on a Black Friday sale and so I got them for 50% off and they have beautiful colors. The package describes them as being soft colors and I agree they are some pretty soft pastel looking colors. Some colors are more pale than others and then some are more muted. I couldn't pass up the deal on these fine liners. Next I have a dual tip brush pin from a brand I'm not familiar with. It is called Atopins, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And the brand is called Dingpats, I believe. And it describes these as water-based pigment ink. And I got two sets, a pastel set, and then I got a trend set. So that's how the box describes it. So I'm about to swatch these for you and I'm going to speed up this part for you. So for each pin, I tested both sides, the brush pin and then the fine tip. The box describes the fine tip as being a 0.5 millimeter. Each box comes with six dual tip pins and the packaging says that these are archival quality, fade proof, acid free, light fast. It also says that they are waterproof, bleed proof, and odorless. The more time using and testing these out, I'll get a better feel for them, but they do seem like they're good quality and time will tell. I did get these on sale on Amazon. I believe they were 25% off during the Black Friday time. Let me know if you've tried these pins and what you think of them. So if you watch any of my previous hauls, you know how much I love a good sketchbook. And so that is what I was filming at the intro of this film, another sketchbook. This one is from the brand called Etcher, which I've purchased a few items in the past from them and I really like the company. Their customer service is great and no, I'm not sponsored. Um, it is described as the perfect sketchbook, size is 5A. Dimensions are 8.9 by 5.9. The format is landscape. Some other product information is described on the package is that this is artist grade, 100% cotton watercolor paper. The GSM is 300 and it has 44 pages and it is archival grade. Expandable inner pocket. This is my fourth sketchbook from Etcher and I really loved my previous sketchbooks so I wanted to try this one. This is a different format than what I've used and size as well so I wanted to give this one a try. The next product we have is from Meaden and this is a porcelain paint palette. Product size is seven by seven and the depth is three quarters of an inch. Great thing about ceramic palettes is that they are stain resistant. As I take the palette out of the box, I notice immediately that it is good quality and it has eight wells. Perfect for watercolor and gouache painting. I look forward to using it. Can you guess what I am gonna show you next? Yep, they are paintbrushes and these are from Princeton. Now, I had accidentally ordered some of these for my classroom. I'm an art teacher, by the way, and the students love them. I like using them, so I wanted to get myself some. And I found these on Amazon in a set that has different sizes. My plan for these paintbrushes is to specifically use these for gouache painting. I like to have 
specific brushes for particular paints like gouache, watercolor, oils, acrylic. I already know that these are going to perform well for doing fine lining and detailing on my paintings. So the next thing I purchased were another set of paint brushes. These are from Princeton and they are from the Neptune series and these are specifically for traveling. These are round brushes that come in different sizes. We have a size 4, 6, 8, and 10. So what I'm trying to do here is see if I could take these flaps and make it to where it can stand. And it didn't quite work that well, but I don't think that's what its purpose is. It's actually, once you collapse these paint brushes like I'm doing right now, you can fold them over and close it. This set saved on my Amazon wish list for a very long time and I kept checking every day to see if they would go on sale and they didn't. And so I panicked to purchase them because I saw that there was only two left in stock and I'm like, I gotta buy them now. So I did that. Here we are, part two paints. I have some acrylic gouache from Holbein. I wanted to get some more of these paints and add to my existing collection. Up first, we have Deep Magenta. Next, we have Magenta. Then there is Lilac. Ice Green. Red Violet. Smalt Blue. Peacock Blue. Ash green, luminous red, and I want to show you how luminous this is. This is like a fluorescent color. Then there is ash rose, and lastly we have pale peach. I specifically like to use these paints in my sketchbook. Now we have a different type of gouache. This one is from Karen Dash and this is the traditional gouache, but the difference with this one and let's say paints of gouache from Tube or Hemi, these are dry and you activate them like watercolor. But this formula of gouache is supposed to be more like traditional gouache. So this is my first Karen Dash product. Very excited about that and I love the color of the palette. And looking at the sleeve it comes with, it's very colorful. It says there are 15 colors that come in this set. So after inspecting the leaflet a bit more, I can see that there is a swatching side to it. So I will eventually do that and put the colors here so I can see what they look like on paper. So this paper shows you the different colors it comes with. And so after I opened this palette, I removed some of the paints and see that the color is not on the bottom. Um, here I'm showing you it comes with some stickers, some decals. You can put them on your palette if you want. Here what I'm handling is a white paint. It comes with a paintbrush. It feels pretty cheap, but it fits perfectly inside of that space. So that can be convenient. And so here I am checking to see if the colors are written on there and they're not. There is a number, however, but no name of the color mentioned. That's okay. You could take a Sharpie and remove these and write them down. These are going to be fun to play with. Up next, we have another paint. These are from Kiritaki and I do not have any of these paint palettes, so this will be my first one. So I had to go pig and get the 48 set. The leaflet it comes with describes these as Japanese traditional paint for professional artists and crafters. It says that it can be used as a gouache and watered down for use as watercolor. And when you open the lid, the underside has a swatching space for you to paint and test out the colors and a separate swatch card for you to do that there as well. As you can see there are a lot of beautiful colors in this set and I'm just showing you panning over all the beautiful reds, greens, blues, and some other 
interesting colors and it comes with three metallic colors. When pulling out the pan of paint, I noticed that there is a number and then inside the box actually has the name of the color. So that is useful if you happen to have these fall out, you can put them back in the proper spot. It'll be fun to swatch all these colors and see how different each red is from each other and blue and etc. All right, so we have another watercolor like paint that looks like Kiritake, but it's not that brand. It just says that it's Lumi accent color and these are fluorescent. So on the plastic sleeve, it has the name and I decided to put the name on the side of the box since it is not labeled anywhere else. I made a short on YouTube using these fun colors and I'll have it linked down below if you're interested in watching. You probably guessed that I got more watercolors in your right and these are from Prima. These were purchased from Amazon and there are quite a few palettes that they have out but I only picked up two. I got the Pastel Dreams which is what I'm showing you here. And when you open it, it comes with a swatching card. Then you have your watercolor paints that are covered in paper. So I'll eventually have to remove those. The next watercolor palette that I got from Prima is called Vintage Pastels. These watercolors are described on the packaging as artist grade, high quality, and high pigmented watercolor pans. Watercolor confections are sized perfectly for artists on the go. These professional grade paints provide bright, intense, smooth, and long-lasting colors that will work beautifully for any art or mixed media project. It includes 12 colors. And here's another watercolor palette. This one is from Rosa, and this is the romantic set of colors. When I pulled out the palette, I was surprised that the tin came in this color. I don't remember if it showed on Amazon a darker blue, but it came out like a turquoise, which is lovely. I, I prefer that color over a dark blue. This palette comes with, with a bunch of lovely colors, and so I decided to pull out one and see how the wrapping is. It's in paper, and on the sides, there are two perforated sides where it gives you the color information. So I'm removing the top and leaving the two sides with the product information on the pan. I like that this company does this. It's very useful and I'm already liking the paints even before using them. These have a really good reputation and like I said, these are my first set of Rosa watercolors. So I look forward to using them and see how they perform. Another thing I wanted to add is that this is from Ukraine, which is nice, and that these were an affordable price. The next watercolor palette I have here is by Paul Rubens, and this is my first palette from Paul Rubens. When handling the box, it feels very solid and good quality. I'm gonna keep the box and I noticed that the tin palette itself was very sturdy. When I open the palette, I see that it comes with a swatching card and some product information. So I look forward to digging into these and testing them out. All right guys, I hope you're not tired of watercolor because I'm not. This next purchase from Amazon got mixed reviews. It said that these pastel colors can be chalky. And so when I opened it, I did notice that it appeared to look chalky. You could probably see here as well, but I had to get them because I saw the colors and I really wanted to try them out. Inside the palette comes with a portable paintbrush this is a water brush where you store the water in the handle and it has a stopper there. So I'm testing to see if I can put it together and if it'll fit inside the little slot that it comes in. But it doesn't, so I end up putting it back to how it was when I opened it. So I'll have to give these paints a try and see how well they work. 
but if anything I think it'll just be good to just accent some areas in my sketchbook we have another etcher product and these are the pearlescent watercolors and we have 12 half pans and this is the golden set the box is nice and sturdy and on the back of the sleeve it shows you the colors it comes with and when I open it, it comes with a card that has a message from the company. It says, we believe art has the power to make this world a better place. I like that message. The palette is wrapped in a chamois and the color of the palette is so pretty. The tin feels sturdy and then it has a decal with the logo on it. Inside comes with a swatching card. It says, go wild, show us your art. So they encourage you to hashtag them or tag them on Instagram. The pans of watercolors come wrapped in paper. So off camera, I ended up removing them so that you can see what they look like. They are beautiful. All right, here comes one of my new favorite brands, Schminka. Shire watercolor set was on sale on Amazon so I had to pick them up and I should have read the description because when I they arrived I was super surprised that they were this small you will see as I show you the colors look how tiny they are <laughs> they're five millimeters this one is in Shire yellow Shire olive Shire blue Shire Green, which I think is going to be my favorite. And then there is Shire Gray. I forgot to mention these are super granulating. The last tube I got is in Chromium Yellow Hue Light. Do you know what it's time for? Daniel Smith. The first color I would like to share with you is called Green Gold. This is Cornacodone Gold. Rhodonite Genuine, Quernacodone Pink, Quernacodone Coral. And the last one from Daniel Smith, French Ultramarine. Now it's time for some Holbein watercolor. The first tube that I got is Juan Brilliant One. This color is called Brilliant Orange. Bright Rose Luminous, Crimson Lake. Permanent Violet, Bamboo Green, Compost Blue, Marine Blue, Peacock Blue, Hooker's Green, Cadium Green Deep. With this purchase of Holbein watercolors, this Holbein palette is complete. Now if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. This is my last haul for watercolors this month and this is from da vinci they had a special promotion if you bought a certain amount of watercolors you got a free empty tin palette this is the free tin palette that i just mentioned their tin palettes are good quality and sturdy plus i really like the color the first color that i got is called da vinci violet it comes with an information card showing you how you can mix this color with some of the other colors I'm going to show you. Permanent Rose Quinacridone, Da Vinci Red, here we have Thalo Green, Da Vinci Yellow, Viridian Green. I forgot to mention these smaller tubes are 8 milliliters. Remaining tubes of paint are 15 milliliters. Permanent Magenta, Carmine Quinacridone, Venetian Red, Lavender Permanent, Choices Mother Violet, Lilac Permanent, and lastly, Charlie O Blue. And this is one of my bonus items I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I'm going to use these stickers to put on sketchbooks. Aren't they cute? They're from Studio Ghibli. And lastly, for a bonus item, I got this cute ceramic cup. I'm going to be storing art supplies in there, and I decided to put my Da Vinci watercolor tubes in there for now. So this concludes part one of my December haul. I'll be back to share part two with you at the end of the month. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and creative day and I'll see you guys next time.